This program contains subject matter and language that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. I don't know, I feel that Facebook has really taken over her life. Well, her grades dropped significantly, which she had to leave school. Uh, she's been let go of four or five jobs, lost a numerous amount of friends, and now all she has left with her boyfriend and us. Always a bright and bubbly girl, you know? Very outgoing. You know, people people just love to be around her. She she loves to be around people. She's an awesome girl. Growing up, Felicia and I were very close. We rode our bikes and caught fireflies and set up Kool-Aid stands in the summer. You know, we just were very close. When she was in school in high school, all the teachers loved her. She always got great compliments. All the students love her. She always had lots of friends. I never had any problems out of her. Now, every time I see Felicia, she's always in front of a laptop or a computer. I mean, she's always, wait a minute, I got to go update my status. I mean, if you want to communicate with her, she says, you know, go to my inbox. I don't understand what's the thing with Facebook. I mean, I remember the life before Facebook, Twitter, MySpace. What's the deal? I mean, she can't pick up the phone. You can't send her a text, an email, unless it's through Facebook. What's the I'm trying to flex right now because they have Facebook pages. They say I have a problem or some kind of addiction. But I don't even really use that much. Let's see. I'm only online when I need everybody on here trying to be a model. What was that? Oh, yeah. I guess some can see it as excessive. And that's a cute picture of her. But I would not have worn them shoes. <laughs> have to post a comment. I mean... I only use in the morning and in the afternoon, but never at night, unless it's on the weekend or during the week. And basically, I feel like it's destroying our relationship. I mean, we're not as close as we used to be. I mean, we don't go out as much, and if we do, she's always on on the Facebook, always send a status update. Oh, we here. We just made it to the movies. Oh, we eating dinner now. I mean. And I also feel like we're not as close as we used to be. And basically, she puts all the information up there, too. What? What the fuck? I mean, it's like a drug. Somebody needs to help her. And that's why I'm here today. Because this has got to end. Why y'all tagged me in the picture in the first place? Let me go remove my stuff from the tag. Dang, y'all did. Come on, girl. Come here for a second. Come on, let me just tell you my status. I'm going to call you back, girl. Felicia, I knew you were the one for me ever since you accepted my friend request. I love you so much, I can't even describe it in words. It's a shame, but the same thing that brought us together is tearing us apart. in any activity in which you cannot tweet or Facebook and now your psyche is being destroyed. Remember the time we were at the airport waiting for dad's plane to come in? You were ignoring me the whole time but when I sent you a message on Facebook I got an immediate and detailed response. Felicia, I'm, I'm here today to get my daughter back. And in the last year you've had four jobs. And you've lost them all because of your addiction. I fear every day that I'm going to get that phone call, that you died, that you were Facebooking while driving. 